So this question is a diagram question. We know that because of the visual input here. Um, more specifically, it is a graph question. So we see that the x-axis here is years since 1940. Looks like we have that in increments of 10. And the y-axis here is minimum wage in dollars per hour. Of course, our heading here is minimum wage. So the question asks, the scatter plot above shows the federal mandated minimum wage every 10 years between 1940 and 2010. So yeah, we see that the minimum wage in 1940 was down here, but then 1950, it moved up, 1960 moved up, 1970, right? Every 10 years, each of these data points represents 10 years later and where the minimum wage um, is at that time. So, uh, so between 1940 and 2010, a line of best fit is shown. So we see that that line, right, doesn't hit every single point, right? But it's it kind of gives a general sense of the direction of the line of the of the minimum wage. We're definitely going up with time, and it has an equation which I tend to always write down. So I'm gonna say the equation for this line of best fit is y equals 0.096x minus 0.4. Eight, eight. Now remember, anytime you see an equation in this format, you should be thinking y equals mx plus b, right? So for us, that means that m is equal to 0 0.096 and b is equal to negative 0 0.488 um, for the line of best fit, of course, not in reality because we couldn't have a negative, it's not a negative minimum wage, but that's not that's besides the point for right now. So the slope in this case means the amount of minimum wage that you increase, so the amount the wages increase per year. And again, the y-intercept in this case would mean what the minimum wage was in year zero, right? The y-intercept. So let's continue to read. So the question says, what does the line of best fit predict about the increase in the minimum wage over the 70 year period? So answer choice A says each year between 1940 and 2010, the average increase in minimum wage was $0.096. Now that does make sense because that would represent the slope here, right? We're going up in Y value, which is minimum wage per year, that value. So I like answer choice A. Choice B says each year between 1940 and 2010, the average increase in minimum wage was $0.49. Well, there isn't any, I mean, maybe they're referring to the 0 0.488 and just rounding it. But first of all, that's a minus sign here. Second of all, that's a y-intercept that has nothing to do with the increase. So B is gone. Choice C, every 10 years between 1940 and 2010, the average increase in minimum wage was $0.096. Um, so every 10 years, no, right? Because again, our slope is a per year unit. So C, although it sounds a lot like A, is not correct, right? We want every, it's each year. That's what the slope is telling us, not every 10 years. And then answer choice D, every 10 years between 1940 and 2010, the average increase, right? We're back to this 0.488. So no, so that's gone. So this question really was all about understand, understanding, the meaning of slope. So answer choice A is the best answer, but keep this in mind for future questions. Whenever you see this format, I want you to think Y equals MX plus B. And then I want you to take the time to say, okay, well, what is M, what is B? And really think about what do those things mean? Again, because this equation here is based upon real data Right? It's not just to graph it. So it's based upon real data. And whenever that happens, um, nine out of 10 times, the question is going to be asking, what does B really mean? Or what does M really mean? So it's worthwhile to figure that out up front.